Hi, this is the LF 504 from GeekSmart. The LF 504 is a deadbolt smart lock featuring fingerprint unlock, app unlock, passcode unlock, RFID unlock, and key unlock. Inside the box, we first of all find the manual for installing and usage. We find instructions for making holes into a door if your door doesn't already have holes in. And what else do we have? Well, first of all, we have the deadbolt. Then comes a couple of RFID cards. We of course have a bunch of screws for installing and a strike box for the door frame. Then there is a door closing module sensor, sensing whether or not your door has been closed and locks the door accordingly. We also have, of course, the lock itself. Now, let me take it out of the bag here to show you. This is the inside of the lock, or the interior side of the lock. And over here, we have the exterior side of the lock. Here we have some keys and the lock face itself, the fingerprint, keypad, in here hides the keyhole and wiring to connect to the other side. Let's start installing. After reading the manual, I know what to do. First, we take the deadbolt and install it into our door. There you go, fit it in there. And then we're going to take our screws, our wood screws, and slightly fit them in there into the, you can see this, into the uh, deadbolt. Just to fasten it, right? So that it goes nowhere. Then we will take our screwdriver. All right, there we go. The deadbolt sits nice and tightly inside the door, and we made sure that the up sign says up. Now that the deadbolt is in place inside your door, we can prepare the front panel. This is the front panel. You can tell because the fingerprint is on it. To prepare the front panel, we're going to screw in this little connecting screw in the top hole right there. Like so. Now we want to also make sure that this little tail piece here, this one here, is vertical. Now that we are clear, we can insert our front panel into the deadbolt and the door. Give it, here. Give it a little shake, makes it much easier. We can begin to install the mounting panel. The mounting panel will be sitting on the inside of your door and later we are going to install back panel on top of the mounting panel. All right, so to get started, you can see that the wire is pointing, pointing out of the door here. The wire to go through the mounting panel, the little, the little hole right there on the right side of the mounting panel, like this. I'm gonna drag it through here and take it over here. Drag it through and make sure that the tail piece sticks out from the mounting panel, like so. So, we take 
some of these long screws here. And we begin to install them into one of these three holes. And that's the third one. Now let's go ahead and tighten them with a screwdriver. The mounting plate now sits tightly on the door. Before fastening the back panel to the mounting panel, mounting plate, we want to connect the wire from the from the external panel to the back panel. We do that into this little socket here. Now it's a bit tricky, but I'm sure you're capable. Yes. All right. Now that the back panel is connected to the front panel. Also, make sure to notice that there is a little left right LR switch down here. You get a close look there. If your door is a right opening door, you want to switch it, switch it to R for right. And if it's a left opening door, you want to switch it to L for left. Okay, go ahead and push in the wiring into the door. Go ahead and push the wiring into the door. There you go. So, there you go. And then it fits. Okay, push it a bit more in there. You don't want to crush that wiring, even though it has protective uh, insulation on it. Fit it into that rubber frame, like so. And you want to use a bit of force here and keep it tight while you screw in the screws here. Maybe use a hand to hold it, something like this, right? Keep them tight onto the door. Then you can take your screws and install and fasten the back panel onto the door. Okay. Now the door, sorry, now the lock sits tightly on the door and we can put in batteries and begin using our lock. You hear that? It's on. Of course, we want to cover those batteries. So put back on battery cover and slide it in there and put in this little screw up there and screw it in now your LF 504 should be installed correctly after installing the LF 504 or any lock for that sake let's try and test if you installed it correctly Take a look at the back side here and the thumb turn when turning it. The dead bolt should extrude. When you turn it back inside again, it should withdraw. When you click on the lock button, the lock should lock. And when you click it again, it should unlock. Very good.